Hi, Kipsters. This is Miss Rosado again, here for some shared reading. How are you doing today? Now, boys and girls, yesterday we were doing a reading about robots. And we've already read a few books about robots, some of them fiction. What was fiction? Right, something that wasn't real, something that was made up. And some of them not fiction, which means that they can give us information and they are real. So today we are going to be reading Science Fair. Now, boys and girls, our goal for today is to answer questions about the text. So as we go along, I'm going to ask you some questions. And while you're at home looking at this video, I want you to try and answer these questions. And if you want to come up with your own questions and answer them for yourself, that would be great too. We are just practicing this strategy so that when we are reading new books, we can grow our brains and learn more. Okay, let's start. Science Fair. Before we even start, what do you see on the cover? What do you see on the front page? Right, I see a girl. She is wearing a white um, cover, I guess. She has gloves on and glasses or goggles, and she is pouring some super soap or super soda. So I didn't read that right. Inside a volcano. What is she doing? I think she's doing a project, an experiment. And there are tiny people that are probably toys. And this is the volcano creation that she made. But let's read to find out what this book is about. Now, while we're reading, let's focus on this question too. What happens at a science fair? I wonder what happens at a science fair or what is a science fair in the beginning. What is a science fair? Let's read. Science fair. The science fair was finally here. Everyone was excited. Who was going to win the prize? So let's look at this picture. Maybe we don't know what a science fair is. Let's look at the picture clues to see. I see the girl from the cover right here with her volcano. And I see other kids and different projects. Here is a kid with a fish tank. Here is maybe a teacher or maybe a dad, I don't know. And it says jumping bag. So maybe that project is about a jumping bag. There's another project here that's called bubble soap. And there's another project over here that's called color something. So from what we see, we can say that a science fair is probably a place where kids can exhibit different projects. Now, are these projects going to be art projects or maybe dramatical projects? No, right, they're gonna probably be science projects because this is called a science fair. Good job. Ronald set up at the science fair. He brought a robot run by a rat. Oh, wow. So let's figure out what is Ronald's project? What's his project at the science fair? Right, I see a robot that has some cables connected to this wheel. And who, who runs in that wheel? The rat runs in that wheel. And from what I can see here, the rat is going to be running, is going to make the wheel move, it's going to create electricity, and then what's going to happen? The robot is going to be able to move. It's going to be able to do things because of the rat that is moving, that is running in the wheel. Good job. It didn't work. The rat slept instead. So what happened here? The rat didn't want to run. It wanted to sleep instead. And that's okay. Sometimes our projects might not turn out the way that we expect them to. Valerie set up at the science fair. She brought a soda volcano. 
So what do we see? We see the girl from the cover. What is her project at the science fair? That's right, a soda volcano. She has a volcano and she is adding super soda to it. Now let's ask ourselves a question. What do you think will happen when she pours in that super soda? Yeah, I also think it might explode. I think it's going to be a huge explosion. Let's keep reading to find out. Oh, it didn't work. The volcano leaked instead. So what happened? She tried pouring soda in it, and she thought there was going to be a huge explosion. But instead of exploding, what happened? It started leaking. So the volcano itself broke, and then the soda started pouring out of everywhere, and it destroyed her project. But that's okay, because she's learning. This is probably who? Who do you think this is? Her teacher. And these are probably what? Her classmates. Good job. Hector set up at the science fair. He brought a rubber band helicopter. So let's look at this picture. What do you think his experiment is? A helicopter that will move with a rubber band or is it made up by a rubber band? Hmm. Let's see. It didn't work. The helicopter crashed instead. So the helicopter had some rubber bands in it. And he was trying to make it what? Make it fly. But what happened? It didn't work. It crashed. What do you think he should do? Right. He should try it again. It's okay. Maybe next time it'll be even better. And what do we see in the picture? Right. He has a project board right here that shows us, shows us how this helicopter was supposed to work. In his pictures, he has drawings and labels that tell us where the rubber band went and how the helicopter was supposed to move. Let's continue. Joy set up at the science fair. Oh, that sentence keeps repeating. She brought four lovely plants in four pots. The other kids sighed. <sighs> I wonder what her project is. This is a science fair, and she brought a poster board that has a plant picture and four different stages, because I see that some of these plants are smaller than the other ones. I also see music signs and a flower, or maybe that's that might be a flower drawing. And another music sign here. What do you think her project could be? Good idea. Maybe she is mixing something with music and the growing stages of the plant. Maybe she's going to tell us how music helps plants. I don't know. Let's keep reading to check. It worked. <gasps> this is the first one that worked. Joy had given the four plants water and sunlight. She had sung to only two of the plants every day. Those plants had grown the tallest. Oh, wow. So what did Joy want to do? How can we answer that question? Right. She wanted to know how music affected her plants how this music could have an effect on the growth and if they could be bigger, taller, or even healthier plants if they received music. So what did she do? She had four different plants and she was singing to two of them. These other two plants only got water and sunlight. And when we read and when we look at the pictures, what happens to the plants that hurt the music? 
and what happens to the plants that didn't get the music. That's right, the plants that got the music grew taller. That means that the music was a good addition and it helped the plants grow even better. The teacher smiled at Joy's chart. That afternoon, Joy went home with the prize. The other kids started to plan for next year's science fair. Wow, so what did Joy get because of her project that worked? Right, she got the first prize. She got first place, and what could the other kids do? What is something, we were reading yesterday about good manners, so what is something that you think the kids said to her? Right, maybe good job, or that was great, or congratulations, Joy. Or maybe next year you can help me with my project. Because all of these kids are probably celebrating their friend for winning. And all they have to do is plan for next year and maybe come up with a different idea or new strategies to make their project work. That was so cool. Well, kids, you did an awesome job reading with me today and answering questions about a text. Now, we know that when we answer questions about a text, we learn more. We are able to talk and discuss with our friends what we are reading about, and it helps us grow our brain even more. So get ready for tomorrow when we get to have another session of shared reading, and we get to practice another strategy. Now, before we go, I want to do a great shout out to four kids who have been doing shared reading amazingly every day, every week. We have Matthew from Notre Dame. We have Jace from Bradley. We have Joshua and Caden from MSU. Guys, I'm so proud of you and I'm so excited that you come every day and you see the videos and you read with me. And I miss you. And I hope I see you tomorrow for a new book. Okay, have a nice day. Bye.